This game is called Scenes. You guys are so smart. I will be playing the part of a very skinny, good-looking Drew Carey. And my shenanigan enablers for the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, now bringing to the stage, Mr. Johnny Morbid, Mr. Connor Poole, the lovely and talented Catherine Chambers, and Marie, weirdest person I know, Martin. Now the rules to our game are fairly simple. You'll see we have some improvisationally trained thespians. They've experimented on the stage. And I have a series of scenes in this hat. I will pull out a scene. I will let them go wild till it's not funny, at which point Thomas Jefferson will step in with a... If we get too close to destroying decorum, you might hear... If we're likely to get sued, you will hear... So you got the gist of the game then. Oh, worthy of mention, you guys actually created these scenes. Long ago, we played this game and we have held on to the original set of scenes from a hat waiting for this dark moment. So this is on you. I'm sorry. Are you ready? No. Your first category is time traveler mistakes. All right, so, so like, you know, I, I know I was supposed to kill Hitler, but, like, Berlin was loud. It's a good thing we were in that bunker. Because he killed himself. Why did I regenerate into a woman? <laughs> Are you my mummy? <laughs> Mom! I wonder if those dinosaurs want to be my friend. <laughs> oh, it's time for another category. <clears throat> We're going to hell. <laughs> Books to read for delusional senior citizens. Where the mild and gently padded things are. <laughs> Everybody poops. And to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. Oh, the place is your roll. <laughs> Things that we will have to apologize to YouTube for at the open stage. Russ. All that kind Interpretive of. dance. Hey! <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> this fits right into where Connor was heading. Ways to never be cool. <laughs> Russ! <laughs> All right, we'll try again. Worst veterinarian. Veterinarian. All right, so, so like, that, that is a cat, right? <laughs> Sir, thank you for your service. <laughs> All right, guys, fluff them and stuff them. <laughs> And your final category for the evening, heaven help us all, alternate movie endings. So, uh, Mr. Frodo, I, I hear they repealed Doma in the Shire. <laughs> but it's cool, the Titanic was saved, it had floaties! You see, love actually is dead. <laughs> but 
But it turns out that Leonardo DiCaprio was actually dreaming the whole time, guys. It's okay. You don't have to think about it anymore. <laughs> Forrest Gump, you are not the father. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the stage falls, open stage improv! <laughs> <laughs>